Good morning. Today is Sunday, and I thought we'd go out and check out some yard sales. I saw that there's a couple um, that's like about eight or nine that is going on today around Charleston and Somerville. And basically, I haven't been out in a while, so um, I don't know if we'll find anything good, but let's go find out. <music> Hey, I wanted to break in right here real quick. Um, when I was at this, flea, this yard sale, not flea market, but yard sale, I was about to leave, and I decided to do a trick that I've seen on other people who are reseller and people who've been at yard sales, which is the ask. If you've never tried this, you should do it. It's Basically, what you'll do is go up to, to the person who's had the yard sale and ask them about what you're looking for. Like, if you're looking for video games, say, like vintage video games, say, do you have any Sega Genesis or Nintendo or anything that may jog their memory that they do? Um, I actually asked any Ooh, vintage person. video games or toys, and she goes, no, I don't think so. So I got in my car, I was getting ready to leave, and the husband came up and said, oh, actually, I do have some stuff. Um, I sold all my video games, but I have some vintage toys. And that's how I actually found out that they had some vintage toys at this at this yard sale as you're gonna see in this footage so always ask don't be shy you know make friends uh, i actually really spoke to these people and really got and really liked them um I'll hopefully that i'll make more contact with them and be friends with them uh, because you'll never know you might meet somebody you like so back to the footage yeah uh don nice uh, to meet you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like I said, you don't mind me putting them on the ground here, no, do you? you go ahead. Knock yourself out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like, I was... Oh, I'm sorry, you're filming. No, go ahead. You yeah, can talk. Yeah, uh, because I was looking at a lot of the... I was going to go... That would have been, like, one of my last... We're going through each of our rooms and kind of just kind of organizing things, but I was going to... Um, I know that there's... Um, you know Chris over here at the... Uh, the comic book place over by the final round game shop? Yes. Chris was, uh, I was talking to Chris one day about all that stuff. Some of those uh, dolls and stuff with the clothing sell pretty good. Yeah. Um, who's, uh, who's, what, was this yours or? It was, yeah. Yeah, I had all my toys when I was a kid too. And then I, what I did is I, like this lady that we knew came and said, gave, said, hey, here, uh, we'll give you a hundred dollars. And I was, I accepted it, you know, and yeah. gave it all away, all my He-Man, all my GI he Joe. Yeah, on. exactly. <laughs> so you need to keep all your stuff because one day you'll wish it back. Now this guy here, that was from my uncle's era. Okay. So that's a little bit. These guys here are a little bit older. Yeah. Uh, and the Indian there. Mm -hmm. so. Um, 
I'm wondering if this is like what this is like the um like one of the westerns probably I'm thinking I don't know because this is it looks like you know like maybe gun smoke or yeah yeah I know the Indian goes with this force I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure I could be wrong So I just got done with that yard sale, as you saw, got those two epic uh, Mego, Meg, Migos uh, figures. Um, I'll talk to you about that more when, when we get back to the, to the home base. But um, I thought I'd run into Walgreens here and then go over to our Target and see if I can find the Silver Surfer um, that everybody's looking for. And I also, at Target, want to see if they have the vintage, this mini vintage card Hulk. And I can add to my Hulk collection. So let's go see what we can find in these two stores. This is what we got here. The Nightwing. I also have from My Hero Academia. But as you can see, no Marvel Legends, no Silver Surfer. These are pretty cool. Oh, I don't want to stay. We have wrestlers. But no luck. So let's go over so to Target. Saw, um, not much in there. Um, that was a bust. I'm kind of looking for the surfer, surfer just for other people. Um, I actually got the original one when it first came out for Marvel Legends. So if I was to see it, I probably would say, "Hey, this I might need it," and I would pick it up, pick it up for them. So let's go over here to Target next, check them out, and see. Like I said, I want to really pick up that small vintage carded Hulk. Um, that I've, saw, I've seen um, if I see him I want to get him and we'll see what else they have um, and see how destroyed this toy section is alright let's uh, check out Target okay as you can see we made it to Target let's go in here and see if we can find that Hulk so this is what it looks like for our uh, NECA and Funko section the truth is, you can travel the world looking for yourself, but if you don't know what you're looking for, how can you find it? Like streams to the I really want to get these Doom figures eventually. I wish they would do an actual, uh, like, sandworm from that movie. I'm super excited about the movie, so when, the, when I see the movie, I'll probably end up picking these up eventually. You just open it up and read that section. This NECA Kong is really cool career, too. And how you can learn more about yourself in the moment. These are the big ideas of life. The things we should I just need to be a lot more, a lot richer so I can have all this really stuff. Just like all the things. <laughs> but didn't find anything that I want to pick up here at the Target. So we're going to move on. So our last stop of the day is going to be this Best Buy. I got a uh, $25 gift card. I'm going to go in here and see where I can pick up with it. All right, so this is what we have for our toy section for Best Buy. Um, pretty slack, I guess. Um, that's pretty much it here. 
you can see nothing. Um, like I said, I had this card. And there's some pops over there, it looks like. Uh, there's some pops right here. But they don't have a lot. So what I think I'm going to do is they do have... the rides here I'm on the cosmic ghost rider and then they have squirrel girl and as you can see it's only $39 so I may just go ahead and get cosmic ghost rider since I don't have them uh, they do have Lando here though as well uh, they have that set there and they also had Grogu, Grogu. Um, like I said, that's pretty much it. So, I think I'm going to go with Cosmic Ghost Rider. So, this is my pickups. Um, when I get to the house, I'll in wrap up the video. So, it's been a great Sunday morning. Um, this is the very first hunt I've done in a while. And, and the first one I've done, really, in 2021. I, uh, as, I, as you saw, went to a yard sale, went to Walgreens, went to Target, and I finally ended up at Best Buy. And I just wanted to show you really quick what I, you know, do a little recap before we end the video. As I said, um, I found uh, a couple of Migos uh, at this yard sale. Uh, Mr. Mix Mixaplixlet from the DC uh, Comic Universe. And also... Um, penguin these are vintage as you can see um, gentleman uh, who sold it to me has a he uh, he does he washes houses he gave me his card uh, I want to give him a shout out it's called Jess exterior washing um, if you're here in Somerville Charleston area um, check him out at Jeff's exterior and tell him that we sent we sent you sent him sent you to go you know get to to, you know give him a job um then we went i went to like i said went to walgreens and target didn't really find anything but i did have a gift card to best buy so i ended up using it to pick up this uh as you can see the cosmic ghost rider um i passed on it a long time ago when it first came out um uh, but uh 18 bucks isn't bad for getting it so i had to add it to my collection um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, uh, go to the Toy Tuber of the Month for February. Uh, vote. Uh, we'll be in the next two weeks. We'll be going ahead and ending that and announcing who the February Toy Tuber of the Month is and move on to March. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button. I mean, that, that hitting that bell. And comment on the video below um, your question for this video is what is your favorite Marvel character or DC character do you like old-school DC or new school Marvel uh, let's talk a little bit of comics so throw your uh, comments in the comments down below as always I appreciate you being here keep popping those tags and I will catch you in the next one peace